I realized I could sell my own houses and we did for several years after that, 75% of the flips we did, um, we FISBO. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's how I made most of my money is really just not paying realtor commissions. So, you know, we would make $50,000 profit on a $200,000 home. All right, so tell us about that very first flip you guys did. Like, how you guys, you come straight from the car business, both of you, right into real estate. What happened in this first deal? Yeah, so my business partner had bought a couple of rentals. And so he had a real estate agent that he was familiar with that understood investing and knew a little bit about renovations and had some contacts with contractors. And he hooked us up and I would just go out and look at houses and, you know, we would run the numbers and make offers. And there was this... Uh, little semi-detached um, in the east end of town here that was a bank-owned property that popped up. We went out and looked at it, and it was me, a Cedro, my real estate agent, Vinny, the contractor. We were all standing in the living room, and we were talking. Him and I are talking about what we could sell it for, you know, if we fixed it up. And him and Vinny were talking about the repairs. And... Um, Somewhere along the lines, he says $12,000. And uh, in regards to renovations, him and Vinny talk, they, you know, we walk through the house, describe the scope of work, and he says 12,000 bucks. So we go back and I take, you know, ARV minus the $12,000 that Vinny told us, uh, minus our profit. Got you know, it's gonna cost a little bit of money to carry it and closing costs and then commission to sell it. And we put an offer together. Made an offer. I think we got a counter offer. I talked to my business partner. Craig said, yeah, man, it seems like a deal. Let's buy it. So we bought it. So, you know, like three or four weeks goes by. We're about to close on it. I go, hey, Michael, uh, Cedra, I need you to, um, you know, give me Vinny's number. I need him to meet me over the house. I want to, you know, get ready to start this renovation. Me and Vinny are at the house and uh, talking about the renovation. And he doesn't speak real good English. And I speak horrible Spanish. And I mentioned the $12,000, remember? Like you and me and a Cedra out here. He goes, yeah, you gonna drop off the materials? And I said, what? And he said, yeah, the materials. The $12,000 is for the labor. How are you gonna handle the materials? So, oh my God. So I, I have no idea. What do you mean materials? I've never changed my own oil. I've never painted my, I have no idea. So turns out after we put materials together and everything else, it's like a $30,000 renovation budget, not 12. And I think we only penciled deals back then to include $15,000 profit. Right, on this ARV, by the way, it was probably 80,000 bucks. All right, so if you can make 15,000 bucks on an $80,000 ARV that you got 60 grand in, like, pretty good deal. So literally from 12 to 30, it's not looking good. That 18's evaporated, I'm up three grand in the hole. So we somehow get the renovation done. House turns out really nice. I price it for 99.9 nine because I'm trying to push the market and God, I've done all this work. I got to make money. And uh, every real estate agent laughed at me. No way you're going to get 99. Uh, Michael, the real estate agent you used for us, dude, you're never, I'll list it for you for 99.9 because nine you're my customer. You're never going to get it. So coming from the car business, we were great at like, we would market payments on the windshields of cars. You remember this is, 20 years ago and we'd say like all credit welcome and we'd get 30 applications from people that wanted to buy that Chevy Blazer that wanted that payment and maybe only like two of them would qualify right and um, so I'm like well I'm going to try the same thing on this house so I put like a banner out front that said zero down payment as low as 650 a month all credit welcome and I started getting applications we put in Add in the newspaper, it said like three bedroom home, East York, fully renovated, fenced in yard, zero down, payments as low as 650 a month, all credit welcome. And I got a bunch of phone calls. My real estate agent gave me a lender to refer them to. And I ended up fizzboing my way out of it. I think we got we got cut on the appraisal down to 95 and I had to give up six percent seller's help to help with their closing costs. So we netted 89. When it all shaked out, we made like three four thousand bucks but it was sold the buyer was happy um you know i didn't die or lose my partner's money and uh we learned a very valuable lesson the, the tip of the 
the the name of the street and and the number is right on the tip of my tongue. I can't believe I've forgotten it. Um, but uh, anyway, it turned out to, to not be the worst thing in the world. I wouldn't, you know, buy that house again today based on that experience and the amount of money that we made. But it was a valuable lesson. I learned a lot about renovations. I realized I could sell my own houses. And we did for several years after that, 75% of the flips we did, um, we FISBO. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's how I made most of my money is really just not paying realtor commissions. So, um, you know, we would make $50,000 profit on a $200,000 home. That was really the same amount of money I would have paid to a real estate agent. We got really good at it. We had great lender relationships. Um, we had systems set up. I had, you know, some support staff that would screen um, the 30 applicants I would get a day and they'd only send me the two that got approved. So it, you know, it turned out to be a very valuable lesson. And like I said, we didn't die or go bankrupt. So even though we made every mistake possible on that deal, I paid too much. I over renovated. I missed the mark on the budget. You know, it was, it was a, a, a mess, but it turned out to be, you know, a, a very profitable mess down the road.